So hello and welcome everyone. I am Pratap Kumar Pal. I am under the supervision of Professor Anjay Kormon in Asian Birth Center. So today I shall be talking about tubular vaginal vaginal coupling mediated by static and dynamic dipolar interaction in Parmaloy nanocross array. So this Parmaloy nanocross array comes in the class of magnonic crystals. So magnonic crystals are basically periodic arrangement of uh, magnetic media where spin waves act as information carrier and uh, th the magnetization dynamics of those magnetic crystals have uh, has been effectively been tuned by various internal as well as external parameters so over the few years these magnetic crystals have shown potential applications in various device applications such as race tag memory devices spin wave based filters logic devices, multiplexers, etc. And very recently, the field of magnonics has diverged to some other fields, where the quantum of spin wave that is magnon coherently interact with some other particles present in the system, such as interaction of photon uh, or uh, magnon with photon, superconducting qubits, phonon, etc. Even the magnon in a particular system can coherently interact with some other magnon present in the same system giving rise to magnon magnon coupling in the system which we will be focusing in our work so the in the hybrid quantum coupling the coupling strength is proportional to the square root of total number of spin present in the system that is g is proportional to square root of n so all those uh, works focuses mainly on taking the microwave cavity or magnonic cavity of uh, of the order of uh, millimeter size cavity uh, so that the coupling strength becomes larger but it has some problem it is limited in uh, re uh, device miniaturization uh, so uh, it has been a topic of research recently to replace those microwave ma uh, uh, magnetic cavity with a nanoscale resonator so in this particular work we have selected ferromagnetic nanocross elements because of their static uh, uh, properties as well as dynamic uh, spin wave configuration uh, giving rise to various interesting physical phenomena and very recently in this particular work we have shown that just by monitoring the uh, uh, amplitude of microwave excitation power one can effectively modulate the the anti-crossing phenomena or magnon magnon coupling in uh, these kind of structures but uh, the system uh, taken in this particular work was, uh, was slightly on the higher side of dimension of 600 nanometer uh, so in this particular work we have taken or downscale the nanomagnet by a factor of two so that the system becomes much more smaller and it, uh, it has become practically applicable for device for devices so we have taken 300 nanometer arc length and the rest of the parameters remains the same and, uh, using ferromagnetic resonance technique so this is the background of the ferromagnetic resonance uh, the precessional dynamics is actually governed by the LLD question as we all know and uh, we have a very tune the coupling strength by varying the microwave excitation power here we have varied the power from minus 15 dpm to plus 6 dpm and we have calculated the coupling strength which shows an incremental trend with the microwave excitation power Simu simulation reflects the same uh, behavior which we have explained using the static stray field distribu distribution in the system sorry dynamic stray field distribution in the system which shows that uncompensated uh, a decrease of uncompensated magnetic charge uh, effectively increases the dynamic dipolar interaction in the system which actually enhances the coupling strength in this kind of uh, structure and to find the root cause we have here in this uh, simulation we have shown that uh, just uh, if we take single nanocross element we we are not able to uh, see the anti-crossing phenomena but when we are taking the array then we are uh, able to observe the anti-crossing phenomena which gets uh, the strength becomes uh, strength actually increases with the increase of 
microwave excitation power from minus 50 to plus 6 dBm. So the stray field distribution here plays an important role in uh, monitoring the coupling phenomenon. Uh, by, by changing the bias field angle also, we have able to observe the similar kind of behavior and incremental train of coupling strength with the uh, bias field angle. Which has also been uh, explained by uh, stray field distribution. So, uh, by by changing the stray uh, static as well as dynamic dipolar interaction in the system, we we have able to uh, tune the uh, coupling phenomena in this particular work. So, to conclude, please, we have uh, shown evolution of spin wave dynamics or parmalin nanocross array in a very low spin ensemble system and tune the coupling phenomena by various external parameters where static and dynamic dipolar interaction plays a very important role. This work has recently been published in uh, Advanced Quantum Technologies and I would like to take this opportunity to thank Professor uh, Anjan Mormon, my supervisor, for his constant support and supervision uh, through the course of this work and I also like to thank Professor Osichika Otani for providing us the samples and my all lamb members for their suggestions. Thank you.